Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Aho here with KissAnalog.com. Yeah, see? KissAnalog.com. Guys, I want to show you some leads I bought. Now, I bought these a while ago, like a year ago. And I, I bought a lot of stuff for the channel. And I often show the things that are given to me, especially lately. I did a bunch of reviews. Uh, but I bought things I wanted to show you guys. And I'm getting ready to do testing on all these projects I have. I have all these boards and I, and I was like, oh, I want to... So I did. I pulled out some of these right here. I had to redo this video. They're all packaged up. You're going to see them. I'm going to bring you over to the bench, show you all this stuff. But these Hirschman test leads, two major thumbs up. They are awesome. I'm going to bring you over to the bench, show you this stuff I bought, okay? And, uh, and yeah, I wanted to show you guys good test seeds. Uh, somebody on the channel actually said, uh, brought Hirschman to my attention. If you're the person, let me know. I'll look you up. I have a multimeter. I'll send you out for free, uh, except for shipping. You have to pay shipping, okay? But if you're the person, let me know. I'll, ch I'll research it, see if you really are. You got to be a subscriber, too. And then I'll send you out a meter. <laughs> All right, guys. I am tickled because I bought Pomona stuff for a long time. Pomona is a company that was bought by, well, okay. The same company that bought them bought Fluke and Tektronics. So we've kind of seen the way those companies have gone in the last 15, 20 years. Not really done much. In my humble opinion, Tektronics more so, Flute not so much. In my humble opinion, sorry, I wish they would take off. I want to challenge them to do better now that, um, you know, we want to buy America again, right? Anyway, Hirschman's German made. Fantastic stuff. Let's come over. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. All right. We'll talk about the prices where I paid for this stuff and. Yeah, anyway, let's come over to the bench, take a look at this stuff. All right, guys, this is just some of the projects I'm going to show you some signals on. I think I'm going to do this one today, okay? So uh, I might post two videos tomorrow for you. But, okay, so here's the little micro cups. I'm going to put this on the tripod so I can use two hands. All right, guys, here we go. The micro clips, not clips, not with the C or I. That's uh, made in Germany. So this is the Hirschman brand. I've heard of that. I've had a few people on the channel say, hey, you ought to check them out. And I think I'm probably talking about Pomona or something at the time. And they said, yeah, check out these guys. Oh, what am I doing? Open up on the side. But these are these little clips right here, okay? So, whoops, a little tissue in there. So that's what they look like. There's 10 of them in there. And this is... So they're the ones where you take the little wire and you stick them down these ports. There's one on each side. So once you grab on, if you're on this side, you can get it from this side. If you're on this side, because you don't want to be moving these around because, you know, usually you're on some leads of a part or something like that. And just an example, you know, like, for instance, I might have this inductor right here. I just want to reach in and grab those pins right there. and grab. Oh, yeah, they grab. Oh, dude. These grab tight. Oh, I like that. Oh, look at that. I can wiggle up. I'm pulling. I'm actually pulling. It won't come off. Okay, I'm going to grab that pin right there on the optocoupler. Now, when you put these kind of, you know, when you're using these, you usually have power off. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Ah, I love these. So they must have little, I mean, these things are not flimsy copper. I'm not sure what they make those prongs out of, but they are strong. See, here's a chip right here. You want to reach in here. So you turn power off before you do this, and you might kind of turn it on an angle to try to get the clips in there. And then, it. oh, look at that. Man, I'm telling you, you can pull on these. They're not coming loose. And, you know, so easy things like, easy things like the diode lead, no problem there. But man, they I love these things. Wow. 
Hey, if you're the viewer that recommended me, I know a couple of you guys did, but I'll give you a shout out if you want me to. Put your name down. But man, yeah, the okay, these are gonna be awesome. Love that. Wow, that that was totally worth the money, whatever I spent. Okay, let's get the next one. Okay, so here's these grabber things, okay? See this design here? Oh, and it says right there. Yeah, so it is Hirschman. So, okay, it says it right on it. But I noticed, I recognize this design from that other clip. So, but man, these things, so you can put the shielded kind of cable. Hey, that blue thing I got, there we go. Just found the use for it. So this is the blue one I was talking about, okay? We'll pull it right out of there at this point. Let's free these guys. Let them come out and play. Oh yeah. Oh, this is, it feels like nice silicone. Oh, that's, man, that just has a nice feel. But look at the size of these things. There's that design again, Hirschman. And what's nice is they're stackable. So I can put a banana jack in there. So yeah, there we go. Perfect. So I do that, and then I stick this one in the in the meter. There we go. There's a lead that will accept that blue wire. But why did I only get one? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I got some more around here somewhere. Oh man, they fit snug. Okay, love both those things. And this thing's about two feet, half a meter probably. Okay, and if you want to see and. Side there, if you can see, there's a sharp point, and I guess it hits a hard piece of plastic there. But there's a sharp point, so down in here is where the connection's made. All right, so here's these guys. There's two of them. Let's pull them out of there. We'll free them. They got to come out. Oh yeah. Now I'm using these all the time. Okay. Now what I like is see how wide and flat that thing is there on both sides. So when I'm trying to grab wires like this, I can just reach in here and it's got a nice, look at, and I'm pulling. That's, that really grabs. How's it grab so well? Oh, it looks like it's serrated. Oh yeah, that's how, oh yeah, I can feel it. Rubbing the wire on, I can feel it. So it's a serrated, it's jaws right there. So you got the micro jaws on the end and then you got the heavier jaws up here for bigger wire, okay? So, okay, so yeah, these are gonna, man, I wish I had another pair or two. It looks like there's screws in there, so, oh, you could probably repair these if you wanted to or something, I guess. But yeah, there's that end. And, all right, so I'm loving these, okay? Like those, that's awesome. Here we go, here's another pair of these. They're also heat shrunk. All right, so, see, same kind of design. That's, I guess that's a Hirschman design. And there's a Hirschman name on them. So, there's that plug right there. Oh, look at this. There's a little screw in here. Oh, wow. So if you wanted to put a banana jack in there, I'm assuming you could tighten that in there so it doesn't come out. Wow, that's that's really interesting. So let me plug one of these guys in here. Okay, so. Okay, I'm just going to see if that actually tightens it in there. Nope, that's not what it's for. Unless, might have to back it out so it's, Oh yeah, see that just sunk in a little bit farther, so I was already kind of hitting it. Oh, uh, see that? I saw it just push it out. So I guess I gotta hold it in with my finger. All right, that worked. Yeah, you just have to hold it. Yeah, and then it locks it in. Okay, pretty cool. That That's a cool feature. I don't know if I've seen that before. And on this end, you have that prong, just like those mini grabbers. So I'm sure those micro grabbers, whatever they're called, um, yeah, I'm sure they're going to grab really well, too. I mean, let me, I'm, yeah, I can't bend that easily. Some of those bend really easy, so, oh, yeah, and even twisting them. They don't twist easy, so that's definitely a strong grabber. All right, let's get to the next one. 
Now these are going to be the real sharp dudes. Let them puncture their way out of their own package. They freed themselves. Wow, that can, does that come out? That is like a really sharp cone. Wow, but it's thick up here and really sharp. So that is one strong tip. That's not made out of a narrow gauge with a small sharp tip. That's heavy gauge to very, wow, that, that looks dangerous. Okay, and same that same kind of marking they, they use. Okay, so I'm getting to know their stuff, I guess. But yeah, there you go, guys. Impressive, I think. All right, so here's this package here, okay? That's the part number, I guess, the SKU, Hirschman. Man, I wonder what I paid for this, holy cow. Okay, already I'm liking it because I, th I was afraid I just got a bunch the same length. Maybe they are all the same length. But these are about a half meter. Same, uh, see the baskets here? They spin. But see how, I mean, oh, wow, those are some strong springs. Jeez, I'm gonna get spoiled. Made in Germany, Hirschman, and they're stackable. Wow, stackable. Oh yeah, that that's a nice tight fit. Okay, I just plugged in my power supply over there. That was a tight, let's see. Oh yeah, and they go in deep, too. wow, those are nice. Okay, so no more loose banana jacks. There's two, about a meter and a half, one pair. All right, guys, then I got two pairs that are a meter long, a good solid meter long. And by the way, did I mention these are silicone? These are, these are super flexible, super soft, and large gauge. I mean, it, at least the installation is. Uh, I have to look up the specs on. Now, this pair here, this one's two meters long. So I got a really long pair, which come in handy sometimes. If I need to reach that meter up there and come all the way down here, yeah, that'll be handy. The meter long ones will grab anything close by and get down here to the bench. So, all right, glad I rescued these guys. They're gonna come in handy. Guys, check it out. I just saw that 60 volt. 15 amp, the Hirschman leads. That's pretty nice. All right, guys. So I'm going to do some scope captures of this board right here. Okay. And so I was, I wanted to set up and I was trying to grab some leads and I found this package of leads I bought a while back ago. And I'm like, oh, I got to do this video so I can use them for my other uh, videos. And so finally got them out of the packages. These micro clips, I've always hated. Let me know down below, comment. Have you guys been happy with micro clips? They are a pain in the butt. These Hirschman clips are so good. It's like, I can't believe that I've been dealing with these. I get so frustrated with these clip-ons. I put them on. I'm all careful. I'm getting ready to power things up and I hear a click. And I look down and one or two of them have popped off. I'm like, oh, seriously? <laughs> anyway, I had no idea how much better these were going to be. I just thought they were all trash. I thought they were all garbage. But I think that what they do here is a, I believe it's nickel plated steel, which makes them very strong. I believe that's the difference between these cheap copper ones. You know, 10 plated of copper. I think that's the difference. Let me know if you guys know. Leave your comments below, okay? So anyway, got the leads here. I mean, I got all these leads. These are soft, flexible. I love them. I love, you know, one thing about test leads is the contact force, insertion force, exertion force, right? And these guys are those strong. If you can push down and feel like some serious resistance, you got a good clip. Some of the Chinese ones I get are good. Some are so soft, I just squish and they go flat. I think they're just cheap copper. Copper's good conductor, but it's soft metal. That's 
one reason it's a good conductor. It's pliable, bendable. That's why you use on your leads. But in your probe tips, I don't think so much. But anyway, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you've used Hirschman. And uh, God, I am so happy I found these in the package and pulled them all out. Yeah, really happy about that. All right, guys. And I do have this other test lead that was kind of in the same bag. I put all my leads and they're the four prong guys. These are really good ones. I'm going to show how you can make a low cost LCR meter really good with these guys. Do that in another video. Okay. But for now, I've got some test leads. I'm going to, and guys, the little grabbers, so awesome. So guys, I'll put links down below. I tried to find the people I bought these from is a one-timey theme, but there is an Amazon link. I'll put that below. I'll put an eBay uh, link down below where you can find some of these guys. They range from like uh, one link says 50 bucks. Some of this, some of these links you find are great. Like a couple hundred dollars, $150 They're crazy expensive. But the ones I got were like 55 bucks for the one lead set and 15 for the two hooks and 35 bucks for the other thing. Anyway, price all over the board. I'll put links down below. Appreciate using the links. Two thumbs up my uh, Patreons. Really appreciate you guys. And also my YouTube members and Danny for being a team member. Uh, Danny also hits that super thank you button every so often, you know, where you can buy me a cup of coffee or beer for ramp. So thanks, Danny. You bought the beer for the ramp for this weekend. I'm going to do it tomorrow. I was thinking about doing it tonight, but God, I got so many videos to do. If I could do this full time, I could just keep myself. I could put out a video every day. Easy. There, once you do one or two on a subject, other ones open up. There's so many things to do. And I do a lot of review videos because people give me stuff which keeps the channel rolling, helps me build my lab up. But I want to do all these other videos on projects, which that's what I'm going to start boning up on, guys. You're going to see a lot of project videos the rest of this year, okay? Short time left in the year. We're going to get some stuff done. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you watching. Thumbs up the video. Like the video. Really, seriously. Hit that like. Uh, subscribe. Share. Do those kind of things. It really helps. YouTube goes, oh, this video must be popular. Let's share it. And anyway, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Cool leads. <laughs> Man, can't wait to use them. Here we go. Next video coming up.